Last of Us remake, which those of you that aren't familiar, The Last of Us is an extremely popular game that came out in 2013, I think it was, on the yeah, PlayStation 12, 13, 3. Yeah, 12, somewhere around there. Yeah, it came yeah. out on the PlayStation 3. I have never played this game. Um, I actually just bought it because I just got a PS3 for the first, actually today, as I was uh, preparing for this, it came in the mail um, on my conquest to own all the consoles so um i just got a ps3 so i'm finally going to play this game eventually um but i've heard nothing but good things about it i've heard it's a fantastic game but they're remaking it my understanding is that they already remastered if you will PS4, this game yeah. for the ps4 and a prettier updated version came out just a couple of years ago or a few years ago or something like that and now they have this remake coming out that they've shown pictures and things like that. I don't really have anything to compare it to because I haven't played the original. I've seen pictures of the original. If I see pictures of it, I know, oh yeah, that's The Last of Us. And looking at what I've seen, I'm like, yeah, that looks good. But I mean, I'm not like, oh my God, it's like night and day. It's not like a Final Fantasy VII kind of remake difference. But it, all that aside, remakes are nothing new. Now, the, the game's not even 10 fucking years old and they're remaking it, by the way. The thing that we're talking about here today is, is The Last of Us remake... Just a shameless cash grab or an actual passion project? People have been asking that. They've been saying, you know, this is just some bullshit cash grab. There's no real reason for it. All they did was up a couple of... Because well, there's been a Last of Us 2 since then. And apparently mm -hmm. they use a lot of the models or the, the technology from that second game and kind of just copy and paste it. I, I know that's not all they did, but that's what people are saying. They more or less copy and pasted all the assets for 1 over to 2. So they've just got a Last of Us 2 version of Last of Us part one and uh that's why people are saying that this is kind of a shameless cash grab and one of the people that's involved with the game came out and he has said um i think he was an artist on it he says actually it's the most meticulously built and crafted project that i've ever seen or been a part of in my entire career now i just uh, i do want to notice or uh mention they don't say what this person's career is maybe the only thing that this person's been in <laughs> involved in with this game so i don't know he also added that the that developers who worked on the last of us part one have done so with the highest level of care and attention to detail possible and he also re reacted to how the last of us part one is priced at 70 dollars which by the way that is the i'm not going to say it's the new premium but that is what some games are going for now and that's been a whole shit show unto itself is whether games are worth 70 dollars yeah but, uh, they're charging full price Sorry, spit full price uh, new game seventy dollars for this remake. Typically, remakes don't cost full price in most cases. He says uh, seventy dollars, which is more than some might have expected. The developer said the price of the game is out of my control, and worth is subject to each individual. He also went on to say, "You can decide yourself if you want it or not. All I'm saying is I'm in awe of the work that an amazing group of people did on this project. A tremendous amount of passion." was put into it i'm sure you are because you you worked on it <clears throat> of course we're all a little bit more privy to the things that we worked on but i ain't gonna lie just from what i've seen i'm sure the people that are working on it are working hard on it i'm not denying that from what i've seen of the original 2013 game it looked pretty damn good i could be wrong when i play it here in a a, a week or two i might be like oh yeah it's looking a little rough around the edges i was looking at video of it the other day when i was buying it it looked pretty damn good I mean, sure, anything can be updated a bit, but it still looks pretty damn good. I don't really see the point of this beside, beyond, hey, we haven't put a game out in a while, and there's not much coming out for the PlayStation 5 right now. We need something out there. Can you remake this real quick? Because it was really fucking popular. So it does kind of come across as a cash grab. I don't know. I'm sure it'll sell well. It is what it is. There's big fans. But what are, what are your... You being someone who's played it, you had told me you played it. What are your thoughts on this whole thing? Do you think it's cash grab? Do you think it's actually a passion project do you think it's needed 70 dollars. what do you say well last of us part one one of the greatest games i've ever played amazing fantastic uh may not hold as well because of graphic fidelity you look at like uncharted uh from naughty dog and it, it doesn't hold up very well but if there's one thing that uncharted is passionate about is the quality of their games and it's weird that they're doing this instead of working on another game because they're not known to put out games quickly, which is fine. I have no problems with that. Sure. Is it a cash grab? Absolutely. Mass Effect <laughs> Remaster is a cash grab. <laughs> yeah. uh, Resident, well, I, I don't know if Resident Evil 2 Remake was a cash grab because that was a whole completely different experience. Yeah, definitely. But, that was like totally, like they changed the, the camera. That was like a whole total overhaul. Yeah. 
like to a new yeah, engine, yeah. totally new engine. I guess I guess if they do that here, it could be fine. But it's like the PS4 version was great. It was it looked nice. I mean, the one thing you can't say about what Naughty Dog does, who creates those games, is create something bad looks poorly so what this person's saying he probably works for naughty dog is maybe it is as good as they say but i, I don't know well from what i've seen i, I don't because i saw it never looked bad i'm not putting it down it, it looked good and i'm sure it'll be a good i mean it's coming it's a remake of a good game i'm sure it's gonna be a, or a great yeah. game i'm sure it's still gonna be great it's just there is there any point to it also the, on on your resident evil point you have a really good point there that game it's over 20 fucking years old like <laughs> It makes sense why that game needed a remake at this point. I mean, it, it was it was a, a twenty some odd year old game. So yeah, that makes sense why they're why they're putting that out. This game came out in two thousand thirteen, and it's already been updated in two thousand. I want to say seventeen or eighteen. I could be wrong. It may be later than that. It wasn't. Yeah, it was that like long near the ago. tail end of PS four. Yeah. It is absolutely. I agree. It's a cash grab. The 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 Mass Effect thing. Um. It, that was a cash grab too but I did see a little bit more of a place for that because there was no other place like you couldn't play Mass Effect 1 on the PlayStation anywhere it wasn't available because it was exclusive to the yeah. Xbox 360 and if you go back and play Mass Effect 1 I love that game but it's uh, it's got some mechanics that are kind of outdated <laughs> and <Yeah>. they updated <laughs> a lot of those mechanics to more of the Mass Effect 2 and 3 way of things a, a little bit. They did make some actual changes to it. A noticeable difference to the game. It wasn't just graphics. I feel like this is just a graphics upgrade. Like, the gameplay is going to be pretty much the same, which is fine. I mean, it's a great game. But what's the point? I feel like most PlayStation 5 owners were PlayStation 4 owners and even quite possibly PlayStation 3 owners. And if you had a PS3 and a PS4, you probably already own this game. So... In that respect, I do feel like this is just a straight-up cash grab. I don't think this is going to sell consoles. That's not disparaging the people that have worked on it. I do think that they are... I'm sure they're working hard. Like you said, Naughty Dog works really hard on everything that they do, and they, they put out quality products. But it doesn't change the fact that they're working on something that's a straight-up cash grab. For me personally, I, I don't see the point of it. I know you don't have a PS5 anymore, but if you end up getting one, do you think you'll buy this game? Uh, unless unless it's like a complete overhaul, changes the, changes the game... I just, nah, it's not worth it for me. I, honestly, I think this is going to be on PC as well, so maybe that's a good thing, but... Yeah, there is that. So, so many, I mean, they could just yeah, put yeah. the remastered version on P, PC. I mean, yeah, whatever. I, I mean, it's know. great that it's, it's coming there, but whatever. Yeah, I, I just can't. I can't with these remasters. I mean, like I said, I think they're warranted sometimes, but I think it is getting a little bit out of control. And I do totally think that this is because there ain't shit coming out for anything right now. Everything that was, every big thing that was coming out this year, God of War Ragnarok finally got uh, announced that it's coming out this year. But beyond that, yeah. and I'm not just talking about PlayStation, I'm talking about like everybody, Xbox, PlayStation, and there's nothing coming out for anybody. So I feel like they just wanted to have right. something in their portfolio to say, hey, we have stuff coming out this year, in my opinion, just not the way to do it. But. 